Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to use the Curbcam mod to get cinematics and nice screenshots in Kerbal Space Program. So first of all, still images. Uh, once you've installed the mod, you just need to press F8 on your keyboard and that will open or close the window. And it's this little window here. And this has a load of controls and tools you can use to make cinematics and uh, control your camera more than you could just by looking around like this. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to take a still screenshot. So that's the easiest thing to do with this mod. And basically, all it requires you to do is use these tools down here. So first of all, you've got up, down, left, right, and then close or further away. And then you've got turn left, turn right, turn up, turn down, turn like this way, and turn the opposite way. And the speed that these tools go at can be changed just by... Uh, using this slider here so you can make really fine adjustments or you can make it go crazy. So anyway I'm just going to leave those somewhere near the middle and uh, all you have to do for this is set up the screenshot how you want it to be and you can see now if I move the Kerbal he actually moves the camera with him because the camera is relative to the Kerbal. You can also change it so it's relative to other things but I'm just going to leave it relative to the Kerbal at the moment. So what I'm going to do now is uncheck the controlling camera tool and then I can zoom in and get close to what I want to take anyway. Now I'm going to hit controlling camera and now I can move around just like I was doing before but with the starting point that was uh, with the starting point that was my where I had my camera already. So once you've got your shot set up all you have to do is hit F2 and then take your screenshot with whatever program you're going to use. Anyway, now I'm going to show you how to set up proper cinematics, so moving cameras. So let's say we want to start a camera out here somewhere, zoom in, pan round, and then zoom out again, like that. So we get a nice close-up of the Kerbal at uh, one point, but it zooms back out again. Well, the first thing we want to do is get a general idea of where we want our cinematic to start at. So I'd say somewhere around here looks good. So what we're going to do now is hit New Simple Path, and that's going to create a path which the camera can follow. Uh, so now we're going to hit New Key, and that's going to make a new keyframe for that path. So I'm going to use the camera controls a bit here, and just move it about a bit, make sure it looks, uh, looks good. And then uh, as soon as I select this, I can hit Set, and now that frame will be at this point, or looking exactly as I'm looking now. So I'm actually going to start it a little bit lower, make it pan up as it gets towards the Kerbal, and then pan up even further as it gets further away. Anyway, so now that we've done that, we can uh, uncheck controlling camera and move so that we're in the general vicinity of where we want our second frame to be. So I'm going to say I want it to be around here. Now I can hit controlling camera and new key. This is going to add a new keyframe at 5 seconds in. You can change this time on the right hand side here but I'm going to leave it as 5 seconds. Again, you can go through and change them just by selecting the frames that you want to edit the values of. Anyway, so I want this frame to be um, a little bit different. It's going to be looking a bit more down at the Kerbal, and I think somewhere around there is absolutely fine for this one. So then I'm just going to uncheck controlling camera and zoom out to where I want the last frame to be. So I'm thinking somewhere around here. So what I'm going to do now is hit new key again, and that will create another keyframe. And then I can again move this around, and when I'm ready, when I think it's good enough, I can just hit set to set it to this keyframe. And then whenever I switch between, see I can view the different keyframes now, like this, and then just see, and then if I hit set, it would set them as whatever my current camera angle is. So anyway, now that's pretty much ready to go. I might want to change this so, though, so I'm going to make it so that it takes a bit longer to go further away. And that's going to take 12 seconds, and then I'm going to hit play. And the cinematic will play from the start. Now, as I said, you probably want to hit F2, and that will just essentially get rid of uh, your user interface. And that also gets rid of the curb cam interface as well. Make sure you've not got the curb cam window selected though, if you click away from it first, and then hit F2, and that will work. Again, if you want to get back to the normal view, you can just uncheck control and camera. It won't change any of the views that you're currently on unless you hit set anyway, so you're absolutely fine. 
And now I'm just going to film that final cinematic and show you what it looks like. So you can see here, it looks quite nice, uh, just filmed straight off. But then I've also added a version with a little bit of editing applied so that the colours look a bit more sort of vibrant. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and a favourite. If you have any suggestions or questions, then leave a comment down below. And as I said, thanks for watching and have a nice day.